Today I'm gonna show you how to add an underwater shark. Hey there, my name is Ali. All the photos we're gonna use are gonna be linked in the description. Let's get started. I'm gonna drag my first photo, which is the background. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it because the file is gonna be slow because I'm recording. I'm just gonna reduce the size of the whole thing so it goes just faster. Okay, we have the background here. Let's go. Let's start with the shark. Okay, we dragged our shark. Now we need to cut it. I'm gonna use the magic wand for this and I'm just gonna like make sure the tolerance is not like super high and not so low 40 is good if it doesn't select everything just hold shift and click on the rest or that's fine we can just add a layer mask as you can notice it's inverted so what you're gonna do is gonna press ctrl i so it's reverted back then using the polygonal lasso I'm just gonna make a selection around the areas which are missing which were not like cut it's something like that here i just need to make it accurately yes okay now i made my selection but i don't want this selection i want like the opposite of what i selected so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold ctrl or command hold shift and press i this inverted the selection and then with having the black as my foreground color, I'm just gonna hold Alt, Backspace, so I painted black on my layer mask, on everything except the shark, so now we have the shark cut. Okay, now I'm gonna place it, and adjusting like its size. To place the shark, just go to the crop tool, press click. You see we have here the thirds, the rule of thirds is here, so I'm just gonna put it here in my third something like that the size is i guess that's good okay one more thing to make the shark blend i'm gonna change it to soft light so now it's looking like it's below and i'll reduce its opacity a little bit uh, i guess it's looking good but one thing i don't like in the like the original image the background like this one it's too dark here and too bright here. So I'm just gonna fix that. I'm gonna go to the like the dodge tool. I'm gonna jump to my highlights. Uh, sorry, my shadows. And then I'm just gonna dodge the shadows a little bit. Make the shadows like a little bit brighter. The shadows are like the dark areas. Make them a little bit brighter. And then change it to burn. Go to the highlights. Make the bright area a little bit darker. even more darker something like that okay now we adjusted it much better okay let's go to our folder let's drag our boat okay let me choose one i like this one actually and it's easy to cut because it's not like i'm just gonna make a selection around of it like that then i'm gonna add layer mask here we have our boat let's make it flip horizontal put it here let's get rid of the rest like of everything magic wand and then i'm just gonna click it made its job nicely paint black by alt backspace so now i have my boat let me adjust it something like that let's make it like the boat is gonna go straight to the mouth of the shark Something like that. I'm gonna reduce the size of the shark a little bit actually. Okay, now we have our boat. One thing I wanna add to the boat, I want it to have like a shadow below of it. So I'm gonna right click blending options. Then I'm gonna go to the drop shadow. Let's make the angle this way. Oh no, let's make it something like that. Okay, diffuse it a little bit by increasing the size. And finally the opacity, just like reduce it like 40 percent or 50 percent now we have like the boat with the shadow now we need to make the last thing the trail of the boat 
So how I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna like create a new layer. I have here some wave brushes. You gotta get creative doing this. Let's try this one out. I'm just gonna like with white color, I'm just gonna draw something like that. Just anything random like this. And now I'm gonna control T. I'm gonna make it like super narrow, something like that. Make it small, a little bit bigger. Let's pull it here. Let's put it here and there. Like the boat is having two engines or something. And let me like control click this one and then right click merge layers. So now we have them both on one layer. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a mask. Then using the brush, making sure it's like the soft edge brush. This one. And I'm just gonna paint black from here. So it looks like it's fading, so it's more realistic. One more thing I'm gonna do to the boat, I believe the boat is too bright, it's too white, so I'm gonna add a curves layer, link it below, and just take the white point, pull it down a little bit, something like that. Okay, I guess we're done with the compositing, let's play around with the colors. Let's go to the gradient map. Let's take this one, I like it, the magenta to orange, but I'm gonna double click the magenta, change it somewhere to the blue or cyan. Okay, okay. Change the blending mode to soft light, sorry, not hard light, soft light. And reduce the opacity. Then I'm gonna go to the curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna pull the blacks up a little bit. That's too much, something here is good. And then pull it down here, the mid-tones, and bring the highlights a little bit up. Okay, then I'm gonna hold Control alt which is Shift Option, uh, which is, sorry, like Command and Option and Shift, then press E. This will merge everything into a new separate layer, so now I can go to Filter, Camera Row Filter, and edit the whole thing together. Okay, we can play around with the light, we can add, make it more purple, green, I like the green actually, let me add some green, let me brighten it up a little bit, add some contrast. The clarity, it's up to your taste, I guess in this one I'm gonna increase the clarity a little bit. Add some shadows. I'm gonna put, pull down the highlights and the whites a little bit, I believe some parts are too bright. And let me go to the FX module. Let's try dehaze, we'll add fog. I guess hazing it will make it nice, it will make it look clear. So I'm just gonna add plus 10. Always when you like edit something, make sure you go to the extreme, then go back. Like I always go to the extreme, then go back, like so my eyes doesn't get tricked. And add a little bit of vignette of course. Then I like to go to the camera calibration. I'm gonna play around with the colors a little bit. If I pull this blue primary completely to the left, it's gonna steal all the blues and yellows replacing them with cyan and red so a little bit of this one is gonna be nice let's try playing around with the red a little bit something like that is good i guess okay i guess we're done with today's tutorial thank you for watching if you have any comments or suggestions make sure you link them below thank you